Hi there, I'm Laura Harper Lake of Artful Harper Studios and bringing you another video for the Creative Guts podcast. Since we are pausing from traditional guest interviews, we are doing tons of other bonus episodes and now we're also bringing you video content. Sarah and I are showing you tidbits into what we're working on lately to hope inspire you to keep making yourself during this weird time we're in. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a speed video of a painting I did recently in Procreate on my iPad Pro. So here we go. As you do with most paintings, I started out with a sketch. I had the concept in mind. I don't know how it exactly hit me except that I was thinking about where to buy gloves. What gloves should I wear? Because we're all trying to be more careful on what we touch. And I also was thinking about connecting with friends and family and Sarah for this podcast and thinking on how limited we all are now with human connection. And I wanted to do an illustration that was poetic, relevant, and hard hitting because I miss people a lot. I'm a social butterfly and it has been a big challenge to adapt. And I, like everyone else in the world, am participating in a million Zoom meetings, professional and personal, but it's not quite the same, obviously. After laying down the basic line drawing of the hands, I then worked back in with color on a new layer, uh, experimenting with skin tones and warm colors for lighted areas and cool colors for shaded areas, really just playing with the shapes and trying to get as close to realistic as possible with it still feeling a little painterly. In Procreate, I primarily use just the round brush that comes standard with Procreate and the blur tool. I try not to lean too heavily on the blur tool. I think if you use it too much, it can just make it all look kind of blurry and fuzzy and out of focus and so I think there's a fine line <laughs> pun, to not abusing the blur tool as much. I remember drawing hands when I was in middle school when I was first really starting to plan hey I'm gonna be an artist someday and hands were something that I drew constantly because they're right in front of you. It's a live model that's yourself so I drew I'm right-handed, so I drew my left hand constantly in different poses. And I haven't drawn hands specifically in a long time as an adult. And so it was really, it was really reminiscent to go back to focusing on hands on their own. In my head, I kept thinking, okay, just get to the gloves, just get to the gloves part. And I had to keep going back and forth, back and forth over the hands again to make sure that they fit, especially when I decided gee, the whiteness of the gloves and the transparency is really going to pop more if I have a darker background. So once I changed the background to a gray, then I realized, oh, I can see through the hands a bit still and I really need to focus on making that tighten up a bit. I put the gloves on with a uh, light gray color on a very low opacity so the transparency came through. So that made it more recognizable with the background. And while I'm finishing up some detail work here, I want to take a moment to thank Raphael Bastek, aka Bug, for this song, Magnolia, as the background music for this video, and for him participating with a lot of other music in our episodes and videos. His music can be found on Spotify and SoundCloud, which I will link in the description. Then in the end, it's playing with layer settings and fine tuning. This is going back in and adding all the little sharp highlights that really make this pop. And again, I went with an even darker background because I wanted the contrast to be really strong. I feel like it would be more impactful that way. For the hands, I did use a uh, reference photo from unsplash.com, which is one of my favorite resources. That is a free resource. Go check it out. Then I googled transparent gloves to get a feel for what it would look like. And this is the result of looking at those two images and imagining the dangers of closeness. Thank you all for joining me and checking out my latest work, which is titled The Dangers of Closeness. I can't wait to not 
be so far apart from my people. (laughs) It's going to be really great to get back to life as we knew it someday. But until then, I think connecting online and on social media is really important to feel less alone while we're creating. If you're looking for more creativity, you should go to creativegutspodcast.com or check out any of your major podcast platforms and you will find our episodes there. We interview a whole ton of creatives as well have a lot of bonus content. And we really want to make sure that people are still making. It is a great healing tool and a really great way to pass the time while you're stuck in quarantine. And we would love to see what you're making too. Feel free to connect with us and share with us on social media. Creative Guts Podcast is our handle on Facebook and Instagram. So stay safe out there, wash your damn hands, and show us your creative guts. (laughs) 